by shooting alone and talking to a person, you're really building <clears throat> the dialogue. Yeah. And and that's making right. The film as you mm -hmm. shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, that's one difference I think you know with uh, films like Frederick Wiseman's. Um, I often speak with the subjects. Um, I'm not calling it interviews, but uh, I'm calling it conversation. Uh, it's, uh, it's a way of saying, actually, uh, Eddie, Eddie Honigman used that word, conversation, and I adopted it. Um, because I'm not trying to dig up anything, any information. I, I'm, not try I'm not a hunter. I'm, I'm not trying to, to get any emotion out of the characters by asking questions. It's more about uh, conversation, uh, which would happen even if um, there were no camera rolling. Uh, and uh, I've been doing that since uh, mental, uh, because uh, when I made my first film campaign, uh, I wanted to be invisible, and I was able to. But with mental, um, when I was talking with, uh, uh, when, when I was shooting uh, patients with mental illness, they often ask me questions um, when I'm rolling the camera. And I, I, I told them I'm not here, <laughs> but they never stopped. And, uh, and those are the moments which were most interesting. And uh, I, when, when I was rolling the camera, I felt like I was not able to use these moments. Like, you know, Mr. Sugano, the poet, says, like, hey, cut, cut, like, you know. Um, and um, I, I thought it was interesting, but I, I, I wasn't able to use it, I thought. But then when I was editing, if I cannot use the most interesting moments because of my uh, uh, philosophy or, or, or method, my philosophy or method is probably wrong. <laughs> Because you are you are, you have a philosophy or method to create an interesting documentary, right? I mean, good documentaries, and then not not the opposite. So I decided, well, I need to change my philosophy a little bit, adjust it, adjust it, um, and I came up with this idea. Um, well, observational uh, documentary for me, um, being observational is always um, participant observation. Um, there is a, this is a term from um, um, uh, cultural anthropology, like um, you are observing somebody, but you are already affecting somebody by being there, right? So you are observing the reality which is influenced by your presence already, which means, um, you are observing uh, the world, which includes yourself. So my observational films um, is about uh, observing the world, which includes myself. That's the concept I, I, I chose. I used to, I mean, I used to be quite contrary because, you know, as a documentary filmmaker for TV, I was trained to, to kind of make myself invisible. If they behaved as if there was no camera, that was, that's successful, I used to think. But now I, I have a different opinion. Um, it's okay if somebody react to the camera because it shows their personality, you know, by the reaction. Uh, for example, in Oyster Factory, somebody imitate uh, my camera work, and uh, like, <laughs> it's funny, and it shows his personality. What's your advice for future? Right. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, it's very tough to make a living as a documentary filmmaker. I mean, I'm lucky I'm doing only documentaries and I make my living uh, by doing that. Um, it's very... Uh, yeah, it's very lucky, and I don't know how, how, how long I could continue. <laughs>
<laughs> but it's okay. Um, as long as I can do that, I'll do that. And if, if I cannot, then I stop it. Um, it's okay. <laughs> you know, uh, you, it's not a, it, it, it's, it, it's not, I mean, you don't want to kill yourself to, to be a filmmaker. I mean, you know, um, it's not for everybody either. It's really, a, it's almost a miracle you, you, be, you, you, you have this profession. And uh, um, many things have to come together, I mean, to, to be able to do this, I think. Yeah. And in my case, I, I, have a, I had a lot of luck, I think. Yeah. And uh, for example, um, Campaign, my first film, uh, when I made it, um, I didn't know who would see it. And I applied to maybe 20 film festivals and uh, everybody turned it down. And I thought, ah, this is it. I, 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 can't, I can't make documentaries on my own. And then somebody I knew, um, show, I, I didn't know this, somebody I knew watched my film um, uh, on DVD and uh, he was really impressed and he recommended it to somebody and that somebody showed it to Berlin Film Festival and they liked it and they invited me to Berlin. That started my career. So it's a coincidence. I mean, of course, the film had to have a strong strength, right, at first. But whether it's going into the world or not is a coincidence. Yeah. So uh, just like a documentary rely on coincidence, <laughs> our life rely on coincidence as well. Yeah. <laughs>